Day 14, you made it. Thanks for making it to day 14. As always, this isn't your final day. This is just the beginning. I'm Joey Thurman. Thanks for being here for your 14 day home workout challenge. You can always go back and redo the challenge, okay? Two weeks is just the start. You should do things for several weeks. I have all sorts of different exercises and programs on my page, so make sure you subscribe, follow, all that sort of stuff. If this is day one for you, welcome. All right, so last week on day seven, I did a little mobility workout, so you can do that. You can take the day off, you can hit this workout tomorrow, or you can do both, okay? So here, we're doing some bracing abs, 10 minutes. We're not doing a lot of hip flexion, as hip flexion doesn't really work the abs because the rectus abdominis doesn't cross over our hips, okay? So we're doing lots of bracing, planks, rotational things. All right, you ready for it? Elongated plank, as always, modifiers will be above my head. We're on our forearms. Walk the feet back and hold it in three, two, one. Hold. Think about squeezing your glutes. Make that butt ugly. A little crunch in. Draw that belly button in towards the spine. Why does the elongated plank work? Well, as we elongate our abs, our transverse abdominis is forced to come into play. And transverse abdominis is very, very important for that intra-abdominal pressure in spine health. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. <sighs> nice work. Now we're flipping over. We're doing a little marching reverse high plank. Work on that scapular retraction. You can be on your hands or your forearms. Squeeze the glutes, march one up and the other one up. In three, two, one, let's go. <sighs> glutes on, hamstrings on. Keep that chest up, abs strong. <sighs> march up. <sighs> That's it, real subtle here. Good, and I want you to think about pulling the toes in towards your shins or dorsiflexing, which actually turns on that TVA, that transverse abdominis a little bit more. They don't really know why, but they know that a little more activation from that. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Good work. Side plank with a little rotation. Now we're doing the side plank. I want your top leg over here in the front, okay? As we do that, that takes away pressure from the spine, hand behind the head, rotate in and up. Three, two, one, let's go. <sighs> rotate in, come up with it. Nice. So we're getting internal, external obliques, stabilization through the abs, racing through. Let's go. <sighs> nice. Go at your own pace. These do not need to be fast, all right? <sighs> Hang on, 10 seconds left. Keep those hips up. You're doing great. Almost there, four. Come on abs, in three, two, and good work. Nice deep breath. Let's switch sides here. I'm gonna rotate over so you can see me. Less than 10. Remember, top leg over, abs strong, hand behind the head, in three, two, one. Let's go. There it is, nice shot. Keep that breathing. You're doing great. Good work. Slow, controlled motion. Drive through that front foot. Keep those hips up halfway there. Come on, obliques. Ooh, I feel that. All right, it's less than 10. Count down here, you've got five. Stay strong, keep it up in three, two, one. You didn't drop before you heard one, did you? No, you didn't. Okay, hollow hold. Hands behind the head. Pull those hips back, a little posterior tilt, legs out, squeeze the feet together, flex the toes, hands behind, crunch up in three, two, one, hold. That's it. Keep it strong. Think about driving that belly button down, lower back flat, hips back into that posterior tilt, flex those toes. As I said, dwarf seat flexion, hold, Ooh, abs. Just a subtle crunch up here. Halfway there, come on. Strong, strong, strong. Squeeze those feet together. Turns on those adductors. Stabilizes your pelvis. Less than 10. Whew. One burning. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, abs. Nice job. Now going into a plank with a reach. Back on those forearms. One arm out. Bring it in. The other arm out. Limit the rotation in the hips. In four, three, two, one. Out. Good. Remember, you can always go with the modifier. Right above my head. Soft bend through the knees. Limit the rotation of the hips, right? We're not flipping over here. Almost there, you get a little breather. After this, brace through those abs, hang on. 
Come on. 10 seconds. Let's go, abs. I'm talking to myself too. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Good work. Look at that sweat from being on the ground, doing some core trunk work. Now when you're doing these, we're going back through one more time. Okay, same exercises. So if you follow the modifiers, try to add a little bit more of a progression to it. Okay, also if you need to regress and do a modifier, if you're doing the elongated plank or something, go to the regular plank, all right? Make sure you're really bracing and feeling your abs working. If anything else feels weird, change it up. Focus on the form, okay? Form is more important than just going through the motions, okay? I say this all the time, have the intention in what you're doing, all right? Brace for the abs, belly button in, abs strong, shoulders strong, squeeze through, muscular radiation, a lot of words to say, activate, turn everything on. You're doing this for a reason, all right? Stick with that. In five seconds, we're going back to that marching plank. In four, three, two, one. Elongated plank. Sorry, I said marching plank. That's when we flip over. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not cutting that out. This is real life. Things happen. So your elbows are slightly in front of the shoulders. Keep it there. Abs on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Nice work. Squeeze the glutes. Make that butt ugly. Almost there. I'll give you a count in five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Now we're gonna. Flip it over. Now we'll hit that reverse marching plank. I was so excited I got ahead of myself. Okay, you can go on the hands and go on the forearms with this. We use the modifier up in three, two, one, shoulders back, up. Flex those toes. No, it's strange to think about. Even now, every now and then, I release two. Pull through, abs on, shoulders back, chin up. Space between your chin and your clavicle, halfway there. Come on abs, come on arms. This is what I talk about, trunk as well. Glutes on, hamstrings on, lats also working. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Woo! Side plank with a rotation in 10 seconds. See, we're not just going from one exercise to the other without a breather. I wanna take that time, focus on that form, and hit every exercise properly. In three, two, one. Hips up, rotate through. There it is. Rotate over. See my hips are turning down a little bit as I'm coming back up here. Hips up, obliques on. Come on. Good work. Nice. Halfway there. Excellent job. Come on. 10 seconds. Yes. Let's go abs. Five seconds there, almost there. Elbow below the shoulder in three, two, one. Good job. Flip it over. That's my break dance move. Take that deep breath. Oh, these are short shorts. In four, three, two, one. Rotate through. Notice that plant arm, that forearm, the elbow is beneath the shoulder. I'm tension stacking or joint stacking, if you will. 20 seconds. Come on, abs. That's it. Hang on, halfway there. Keep that breathing, controlled motion. <sighs> Knock it out, almost there in five, in four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Hollow hold, oh, this is my favorite and least favorite all at once. If, if you hate doing an exercise, it's a good possibility you should be doing more of it. Hips back, legs out, squeeze the feet, dorsiflex, crunch up, hold, let's go. That's it. Deep breath in, deep breath, exhaling out. There's a birthday cake right here. Don't eat cake. When the candles are lit, you're trying to blow them out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Blow it out. It's a deep diaphragmatic breathing. Hang on, 10 seconds left. Pardon my breathing. See, I'm feeling the pain with you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Ooh, now we're doing a little burnout. Single arm plank. Last thing, 30 seconds each side. Come up, bring the hand behind your back and hold. In three, two, one, up. Hold it. 
right there 30 seconds each side hang on hang on we're only doing this once think about keeping those hips down we're not rotating up compensating i like the hand behind the back so that cues you to pull those shoulder blades back 15 seconds on this side oh this one's not easy 10 seconds here hang on keep it strong keep it strong keep it strong almost there in five seconds we're switching sides four three two one switch sides arm behind hang on keep it there 25 Woo -hoo -hoo. my abs are burning if you need to drop down for a second that's fine get back up 20 hang on hang on hang on keep it there last 15 i'm with you i promise hold on last little bit mind over matter 10 seconds come on abs come on abs count down here that's your burnout five four three two and one oh ouch i don't know about you but 10 minutes is plenty to really fry out the abs and the core once again day 14 done you made it through but that's not the end of your journey keep moving stay on that path think about that dopamine reward pathway think about uh, people always say oh dopamine that's when you hit it that's when you get your goal dopamine is activated as well your brain is activated by enjoying the journey enjoy the process so thank you for being here thank you for taking time for yourself to enjoy the process enjoy the journey i'm joey thurman make sure to subscribe to my page share it with your friends like comment below follow me on all socials at joey thurman fit let's take those deep breaths absorb the energy i feel that energy from you hopefully you felt it from me thank you so much for being here let's go